Hey everyone, it's William with Scamming Scammers Action and the YouTube channel Scamming Scammers. I want to do a quick video. We had um, the 20 questions for your admin posts that we did about a month ago. We had a lot of you bring in a bunch of interesting questions and I haven't had time to really uh, make a video about it. So I thought I would go live today and answer the questions that you guys wrote in and wanted us to answer. Some of them were pretty interesting. Some of them were just, you know, basic everyday questions you'd ask a friend. Um, I want to apologize uh, for the noise. Uh, there's actually, I'm near a brewery, and tonight they decided to clean the brewery. So if you hear a humming sound, that is actually the uh, one of our famous breweries here in Oregon that's uh, being cleaned. So forgive the background noise. I hope everyone can hear me pretty well. So I wanted to start by saying thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to make this pretty short video. It's just uh, the 20 questions. We'll be doing a live Q&A probably in the next um couple weeks we're looking towards uh, maybe the first week of May and we'll answer any kind of scam related questions you might have during that time uh, but for right now we're just doing the 20 questions um, you asked uh, you we each are going to answer 10 of your questions so we're going to start with Anne's questions first and uh, it's a really fun um, way for us to get a little bit more personal with you we've had a lot of people ask us you know who are you guys what do you do what's who's behind scamming scammers action and so this is our way of just kind of being a little bit more personal. So I want to thank everyone again, and uh, I'll start by answering Anne's questions. So uh, first question that they asked her was, where is Anne from? And her answer was, I am from New South Wales, not far from Sydney. And that's, Anne is in Australia, as you know, and so now you know where she's at. Uh, second question we had was, what did you do before the scam page? And Anne's answer was she worked in the banking and financial industry. So she's very knowledgeable when it comes to uh, if you have questions about, you know, scammers sending you checks and different things like that. She's very knowledgeable in the financial and banking industry because that is her background. So it always helps to have somebody that knows the ins and outs of the banking industry. Uh, next question is <laughs> it's kind of a funny one. Uh, do you eat Vegemite? Her answer every single morning. And yes, she does. And it's um, it's an Australian thing. Uh, next question: <laughs> Do you see your brand scamming scammers growing? Yes, but we need people to like, share, and comment, and to reach broader audiences to educate people before they lose their hearts and money. Sadly, Facebook are not helping the matter, and our YouTube channel is the place to be. And people need to start to visit that page and this page daily to keep up with the updates, matters, things that we post. And basically, unless we pay Facebook money, which we will not do, you won't see a lot of our posts. So do make sure you come to our Facebook page every day to see everything and, you know, stay in the know, like, share, subscribe, you know, tell your friends. Education is the only way that we're going to, you know, stop people from being victims. There's no way to stop the scammers, but we can stop the money from being sent to them. So do make sure you like, share, and subscribe to both uh, Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Uh, next question they asked was, do you see yourself making videos in the future? Possibly. I'm far from shy, but as there are only two of us and we do so, so much, and we do it all for free, things are delegated. And she said that William looks after YouTube, and I do. I look after the YouTube page. She looks after um, the inbox and the emails and things like that. So we share the responsibilities. And I just uh, tend to do more videos right now, but uh, she'll definitely be doing videos in the future. Uh, next question. How has this page and educating people impacted your life? Anne's answer is, I feel so empowered and knowledgeable about what is going on with scams and on the Internet, especially Facebook. I have no anger, sadness, or issues with being a victim in 2012. I just want to keep up to date and reach as many targets as I can, this brings me joy. And I, and I will confirm that it absolutely um, makes Anne happy to help people. We're, we're both very helpful and kind people, but uh, for her to be empowered to say to somebody, you're being scammed, please don't send your money, please you know, don't lose your heart, um, I think it does a great service, um, both for the, the, the victim and for her. So that's a, that's a great question to uh, who asked it. Next question, kind of a fun one. Um, is it true everything in Australia will kill you? <laughs> Anne's answer was, well, I won't kill you. B.S. we do have many of the deadliest critters. I have never seen most. I guess we just cohabitate together mostly. But I have had a spider in my house that could kill within 20 minutes. 
I guess we just grew up knowing what to do and avoid. I am 46 and not dead, so it can't be all that bad. <laughs> okay, and, and do visit Australia if anyone's thinking of going. It really is a beautiful uh, country. Uh, next question they asked her was, what song inspires you most in life? And her answer was, I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. And occasionally she will post that on the page. So um, it's a very uh, empowering song for her to share and to enjoy. Do you feel passionate about your work? Absolutely. There is nothing more of a blessing than to be able to give to others, especially knowledge. And, uh, you know, the, the quirky saying is knowledge is power. And it's absolutely true. People ask all the time, how can we stop scammers? The only way to stop is to be educated and, and to avoid, um, avoid them and block them. So knowledge is power. And one final question for Anne. Uh, what is a favorite product you love that only Australians will know about? She wrote, yeah, yeah, I'm sticking to my Vegemite. So Vegemite seems to be the uh, the favorite of Anne's. Um, personally, I don't like it, but I'm not Australian. So, <laughs> all right, those were her questions, and we appreciate everyone who asked. And yes, she will be making some videos in the future. And, and when we're together, we'll do more videos together, which will be uh, a lot of fun. So the next part of the topic is um, ten questions for me, and quite a few of you wrote in uh, for me as well, and I really appreciate some of the questions, and, and actually some of them made me laugh. So. Uh, first question was uh, from one of our regulars, and it asked, where did you live and grow up? Um, it's a good, that's a good question. Uh, where I live, um, I live near Portland, Oregon. Um, I won't give the name of the city because, you know, just for privacy, but I, I'm very close to Portland. Um, I can go to Portland within, you know, a very short time. So I'm, I'm in Portland, Oregon, pretty much is what you can say. Um, I grew up. Uh, interestingly enough, um, I lived most of my childhood from 10, 10 years old on in the Los Angeles area. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles. I grew up in like Lakewood Garden Grove, uh, spent a lot of time in Ventura and lived and worked in Los Angeles. I lived near the Staples Center for a while. So I'm, I'm mostly a Californian, if you want to say that. Um, but that's pretty much where I've spent the, the majority of my life, at least in uh, my years. Uh, what kind of work do you do? besides the scam page or did before going after scammers? Uh, great question. I actually, I do work a full-time job. Um, I posted this before in some of um, the videos we've made in the past. Um, I work anywhere between 60 to 80 hours a week at my other job, um, which is a paying job, because as you know, the scam page is all done for free. And um, I work in the securities industry. Um, I'd rather keep a little bit more private. I don't want to give out the name of where I work, but I do work in security. And um, that's, that's pretty much what I'm going to tell you. But I do work full-time. I do have a full-time job. So. And next question, your old lady voice chats are funny. Is that voice hard to do? And will you continue doing the funny videos? Um, it is hard to do. I, I've been doing comedy voices and things most of my life, just uh, even like South Park and, and Cartman and voices like that. But um, it, it is a little hard to do if I talk for a long period of time to the scammer on, on like video or voice chat. Uh, my throat gets very sore. But um, yes, I will continue doing the funny videos. Uh, some people have criticized us for them. They say, oh, you shouldn't play with the scammers. You shouldn't make these videos. And, you know, we do a variety of videos. We do fun videos and, and educational videos. But at the end of the day, I think everybody needs to laugh. So um, when I'm able to get a voice chat, I'll do a voice chat. It's fun. Uh, we've had a lot of victims tell us that it's very healing for them to have a laugh. So absolutely, I'll keep doing my old lady voice. You just got to watch out for me. But yes, I'll keep doing them. Um, next question. I notice in your videos, you have a lot of tattoos on your arms. <laughs> How many do you have and what are they? Um, I try to kind of hide them when I'm online, but I guess when I, I, I do have a lot of tattoos. Um, I have 15. I've been getting tattoos since I was very young. Um, I wouldn't want to spend a little time describing them all, but I have a, a lot of different ones from angels to wolves to music related tattoos. Um, they each have a special meaning to me and they each have a story. Uh, but yes, I do have a lot of tattoos and um, I probably will probably have more in the future. It's just uh, part of who I am. So uh, thanks for noticing, I think. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. All right. Um, Next question, and this one actually made me smile. Um, how old are you? 
because you look really young. I do look really young. I'm actually older than a lot of you probably think, and I don't want to give out my exact age because uh, we've had people uh, make threats to find us and kill us. So I'm going to tell you that I'm a lot older than you think I am. Um, I was born in the 70s. So that gives you an idea of how old I am. Um, I'm, I'm older than I look. Um, I don't, I can't say that it's from good, clean living. I could just say that I just, um, I just look really young, but I'm not. So I, don't, I was born in the 70s, so that can give you, you can do the math. <laughs> so, all right. Um, next question was asked by one of our regulars. Um, what song inspired you most in life? Um, if I had to pick one song that would inspire me most in life, um, it's a song I've been listening to for almost 30 years, which is Something to Believe in by the band Poison. Uh, that song speaks volumes to me. It's just in my life and in, in, in all difficult times, it's a very inspirational song for me. So, Next question, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, everything. Everything and everything. I listen to anything from heavy metal, which is what I really um, kind of grew up listening to. I grew up, you know, in the 80s. So um, 80s metal hair bands, you know, the Motley Crues and the Poisons and the, you know, the hair metal um, to punk rock, to heavy, heavy metal, to pop, to techno, to dance music, to even some country. I listen to pretty much anything, uh, but I do have a lot of rock, hard rock and uh, metal um, favorites, you know, from anywhere from the 70s all the way up till now. So that's pretty much my, my go-to music that I listen to, especially when I'm working the inbox. Um, next question, do you think you will continue to educate people about scams? Absolutely. Um, no matter how many times Facebook shuts us down, uh, no matter how many negative things other anti-scam pages say about us or say about me or Ann, um, I'm, we're gonna continue doing what we're doing. I wanna keep doing this. Um, I want to keep educating people, and we've never been about popularity. If we have three followers on our page or we have three million followers, I still want to educate people about scams because if we can reach one person, that would make it amazing. And if I can stop one person from getting their heart broken and from losing their money, then I've done my job and I'm happy. So, yes, I, I will continue doing it. Um, I dedicate a lot of time to it, and it's something I'm passionate about. So, yes, absolutely. And, and I, I know Anne feels the same way. Uh, two more questions. This is kind of a, a weird video. Um, <laughs> you seem like a very open person. What is your views on people of different religions, sexual orientations, etc.? Um, I've kind of mentioned this a few times in my videos. Um, I love people for people. I don't care if you're gay, straight, trans, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Catholic. I don't. I don't judge people on their religion. I don't judge people on their sexual orientation. I don't. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not any of that. I think um, people are people. If you respect each other and you're respectful, then you're going to get respect back. It's not about your, your skin color. It's not about if you're a Muslim. I have Muslim friends. I have Christian friends. I have gay friends. I have trans friends. I have friends from all over the world that are um, of all different um, races, orientations, religions. You know, at the end of the day, you're just a person. You're a human being. We're all on this planet together. You know, we're, none of us are winning a race. We're all going to end up in the same place at the end of the day. So just be respectful and, and, and give respect. And that's that's how you live life. Just be be kind to one another and help out people when you can. And that's that's how I feel. So, yes, I'm, I'm a very open person. I'm not um, against anything in particular. Um, you know, I'm not against a certain race or a certain sexual orientation. I, I, I don't care. It's just as long as you're a nice person. So hope that answers your question. And we have one more. Um, if you were not doing what you are doing now, what would you be doing? It's an interesting question. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of background. Um, when before I did scamming scammers um, and, and joined up with Ann, um, I used to be an admin over at Talk City, which was um, a chat line back in the '90s and early 2000s. I was an admin there who booted out scammers and. Um, trolls and different things like that. I worked closely with Talk City before they got sold. So I've always done something online as far as helping people or, or in the social media aspect of it. Uh, prior to that, uh, I love music. So a lot of you may or might not, might not know. Um, I was a drummer in various different bands um, for many years. I actually was a touring drummer for a while and uh, 
when I lived in California, we did Battle of the Bands and different things like that. And that that's what I'm passionate about is music. I love music. Um, so if I wasn't doing this or if I wasn't working in my full-time job in security, I would probably be playing music or, or doing some kind of artistic thing like that. And that's, um, that's my second passion in life besides the scamming page. So... All right, that's your 20 questions for your admins. Um, I appreciate everyone who came on to Facebook Live to watch this and uh, hope we answered your questions. If you have any questions for us and you'd like to know more or just have any questions about a profile, scanning, whatever, uh, come to our inbox. It's always open. Anna and myself are the only two people who run it. We're the only two people who see what you write, so we will always try to help you. And we don't give your information or share your information, so you're very safe with us. Um, we're your personal secret keepers, so don't be afraid to come to the inbox if you have a question, and we're more than happy to answer it for you. So we're on Facebook, Scamming Scammers Action, and our YouTube channel is Scamming Scammers. So go to youtube.com slash scamming scammers, and you can see all the uploaded videos. We have educational, funny videos, all sorts of fun videos, and things that will help, and maybe one or two that will make you laugh. So I want to thank everyone for joining us. As I said, we're going to do a live Q&A um, related to scamming and scam questions and things like that in about two weeks. Um, but until then, I really appreciate everyone uh, writing in for your questions, and I hope that you guys like, share, subscribe, continue supporting us, and we'll continue helping, and we'll go from there. All right, be good to yourself, not the scammers. Keep your money for yourself, and I will see you on our next Q&A. Until then, our inbox is open. I'll talk to you there. Bye.